Are you interested in recess lights? Whoops, my before and after snap didn't work. Let me try again. What's up everyone and welcome to Kelly Concepts. I am turning this large guest room into a movie room in this video. I actually finished this project about a year ago and this is where I come to play Call of Duty, watch some college football, or just have a great movie night with the family. Today I'm going to install these dimmable LED recess lights up here. They're dimmable to about 5% so you can have a really awesome dark movie experience. I'll have all the products I use listed down in the description below so you can go and find them for yourselves along with this motorized projector screen back here and the actual projector itself. I mean, everyone could use a 155 inch screen, right? Remember to subscribe to this channel and let's go. You're only gonna need a few tools here. Let's take a look. You'll need your recess lights and all of these other products I'll have linked below. Push and connectors, wire nuts, ceiling fan, light switch dimmer, and more. If you didn't catch all that, don't worry. I have it all listed down in the description below. Let's get to work. These lights are also IC rated, meaning they can come into contact with insulation without you having to worry about any fire hazard. I'll begin by marking out my light locations. There is a free layout app you can use and I'll also have that linked below. I also like to mark all of my locations with tape so I can get a good visual of what the layout will look like when it's done. I've never had to patch up a hole because I misplaced the light and I don't want to start now. Then I'm locating the ceiling joist and this does not apply if you're using the slim disc recess lights like I am using here. It really only matters if you ever plan to put in an actual can light that goes up into the attic. But I'm planning ahead just in case. It's really a complete waste of time to be honest. I don't typically use a chalk line, but my walls are crazy wavy in this room, so I can't get my lights straight by just measuring. And I also need to paint the ceiling anyway, so if you aren't planning on painting, a laser level would be a much better option if you're in a scenario like this. So yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna wear a mask and some protective goggles here or glasses. And I just got this dome to clean up all of the dust because this saw will spread dust all over your room. So you have your dust bowl, you have your whole saw. I wish I had that bowl for this project, but now I'll just have to clean up a ton of mess and take a shower immediately after this. Don't even bother with the paper plate trick. I need to go ahead and invest in one of those bowls. They actually make these specifically for this kind of thing. It captures like 90% of the dust instead of you capturing 90% of the dust. Time to bust open the recess lights. I've used this Torchstar brand quite a few times now and they've been wonderful. And I am for the 3000K color because it's bright but still has a warm, cozy feel to them. All right, I'm gonna stop right here for a second and tell you something really important. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. It's a free way for you to show your support for this channel. Give me a thumbs up while you're at it. Let's continue. All right, and I'll be using 12-2 wire here. This is the gauge that's currently run through this house, so I'm gonna continue it. Also, my ampage in my breaker requires 12-2. I'm not gonna get too technical in that. Consult your electrician if you're not sure what you're doing here. I'm not liable for any of this. And so what I'm doing now is I'm actually gonna pre-cut this wire to the correct lengths from hole to hole with a foot or two extra so I have some working room. And that just makes it where I don't have to cut it in the attic. Do all the work you can down here especially if you don't have any attic space. So simply put, this is how the wire is gonna be laid out. You have your main power here. Think about this as being your light switch. Runs to the first light, follow this cable, runs to the second light, follows the cable, runs to the third, runs here, fourth light runs all the way across the room to the fifth light, sixth light, seven, eight. Pretty cool, right? You just do that, but up there in the ceiling. So you do the best you can, then you gotta go to the attic to do the rest.
Wiring up the lights is the same as wiring up any other light fixture. You stick the wires through the knockout connectors and then connect black to black, white to white, and green to ground. Close up the box and shove it up into the ceiling. Now remember one wire will come into the box and one wire will come out of the box and go towards the next light box. You'll do this for every light box except for the very last one which is where the wires will dead end. So I'm up here in the attic looking for the wire that goes to the old ceiling fan that was connected. And what I'm going to do is cut it and split off the light kit part to the recess lights. So now the same light switch will work for just the lights and then split the other wire to go to the ceiling fan which no longer has a light kit on that. So it's basically just having a ceiling fan with a light kit except for you're removing the light from the ceiling fan and turning it into recessed lights. Wires right here, let's check it out. One thing to note, this is how I do it in my scenario with my setup here. Everyone's setup is differently. Again, consult your electrician if you're not sure what you're doing. No matter the situation, make sure the power is off. I don't want to get too detailed here because I'm not going to be liable for you burning down the house. In basic terms, I am taking my red light wire and connecting that to the recess lights instead of the ceiling fan lights. This only works if the current old wire is a 12-3 wire, meaning it has three wires plus the ground. A black, red, white, and ground. At the end of the day, you can always get everything set up and then hire an electrician to do a final hookup or checkup before you switch the breaker back on. This will save you thousands of dollars and this is what I did the very first time I ran recess lights years ago. I'm just going to speed through the rest of this connectivity here and pop in the brand new ceiling fan which I'm not going to get too detailed in because this, every ceiling fan is different and they all come with pretty detailed instructions if you go with one of the bigger name brands here like I'm going with the Hunter. Just make sure that the ceiling fan does not have a light kit with it. So I had to ask the wife for permission on this one. This is the one side of the blade. This is the other, kind of a wood pattern. They both look really cool, but I think we're gonna go with the black look on this one. We have a lot of wood aesthetics throughout the house. So going all black would be kind of cool for a movie room. I was gonna make a video all about the actual movie room install thing, but I don't actually have the surround sound set up. And I don't know if you could see behind me, but there's a lot of kids toys. I cleaned a lot of it up for this video, but this is kind of the playroom as well as the movie room. So I'm not gonna do a detailed video on making it a movie room, but you get the gist with the screen, the projector, and eventually I'll run some wiring for speakers. But until the meantime, or is it in the meantime? But in the meantime, this is what we have. So that's all there is to installing recessed lights. It's actually an extremely simple project and it'll save you thousands of dollars. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I was quoted $1,900, and this is pre-COVID pricing by the way, which was way cheaper, for just the labor of installing these lights. It didn't include the materials and I already had the holes cut out. So it was basically somebody just throwing wire from one hole to another. $1,900 for a single room. So I've done it myself ever since and I've done it in probably about a dozen rooms now. Check out my other installation videos if you have more questions on this or drop your questions down in the comments below. I try to get back to as many as I can. Again, please consider subscribing down below. I am turning this into a movie room but it will not be a full blown video on that. But I will be installing recess lights in my master bedroom where there is no attic access and that's a whole different story and installation process. I've already completed that and I'll have that video out here real soon. If it's already out by the time I'm recording this, it's going to be up here somewhere in the corner so you can just click on the link there. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.